case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the case of Withers v. Levine, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit in 1980 considered a deeply troubling issue the protection of inmates from violent sexual assaults. The case served as a graphic exhibit of a failure in the duty of care by prison officials, especially towards vulnerable groups. Highlighted was the grim fact that homosexual rapes reported within the Maryland House of Corrections were far from isolated incidents. And moreover, the true number of such attacks was believed to eclipse the reported figure due to underreporting fueled by threats of violence or death. Alarmingly, certain inmates, those who were younger, white, diminutive in size, and identified as gay, appeared to bear the brunt of these abuses. A crucial part of the suit involved the plaintiff, Withers, who experienced a violent sexual assault at the hands of his cellmate, Red. The scenario proved particularly shocking given that Withers had been threatened by Red with a razor and was clearly overpowered by his cellmate's greater weight and strength. Despite the distressing incident, Withers was only transferred to the Maryland Penitentiary, and his appeal for damages against the defendants did not become moot, as there remained the risk he could be returned to his former prison. The defense shifting blame onto the MHC for not devising plans to protect prisoners was challenged by the district court. The issue in this case was the glaring absence of a system for appropriate cellmate assignment, especially considering the high-risk individuals. The court noted that such negligence was a clear violation of constitutional rights and was therefore actionable under Section 1983. The court preserved the immunity of the defendants from damages liability. Accepting their claim that they lacked knowledge, their actions violated Withers' constitutional rights. Yet, underlining its deep concern, it affirmed a district court injunction requiring the development of proper procedures to prevent such instances of sexual assault among cellmates. The Withers v. Levine case was significant for delineating the constitutional expectation that prison officials exercise reasonable care in safeguarding prisoners from pervasive and unconscionable risks of harm. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.